what's up <laughs> have not vlogged in forever <coughs> and that's like legit this time i think it's been like if i guess i think it's been a month since i picked up the camera wow oh, i'm out of breath i don't know why but vivian's actually i'm gonna show you guys what she's doing right now <laughs> i put her in her swing I was getting ready to like take a shower and all that stuff and she likes to be where like where she can see me so I put her swing right at like facing the bathroom and she was content there so I don't know what to put you guys <clears throat> so the lighting is like decent but yeah so like I said Vivian has an appointment um it should be a quick one she's just gonna get her flu shot Hopefully it's not like crowded there. <clears throat> it shouldn't be because it's a Saturday and usually they only take appointments on Saturday. Like they don't do walk-ins at her doctor. My phone in my bag. Sorry, I don't, I'm not even like properly vlogging. Like I said, it's it's been a month. Um. Oh, what I was saying earlier, I have like vlog footage on my desktop that I need to edit. It's just been really hard. Like, yeah, I work from home like three days of the week, but I'm working and then I'm also taking care of Vivian. And then by the time like I get off work, I cook dinner and I just, the last thing I want to do is sit on a computer and edit because I'm on a computer all day for work. So yeah, I need to chill. I need to breathe. I need some coffee. Someone's got to get a shot and she doesn't know. Love your shoes though. <laughs> All right, so Vivian just got her flu shot. She did really well. I mean, she only cried when the needle went in and then she stopped right after. As you can see, she took her frustration out on the table here, on the paper. But. No, mama. Mama. Mm. Yeah, I wonder why you're not getting any milk. It's crazy, huh? Vivian, are you trying to figure it out? <laughs> reaction every time I open the door. Hello! <laughs> okay, that's not your usual reaction, baby. You're normally a little bit more welcoming. Let's try this again. Hello! Okay, no? Alrighty then, we tried. Okay, so Marshall's was a fail. I just went there because I usually see my macadamia oops, um, hair mask for significantly cheaper. I haven't been able to find it in any other store besides Marshall's, and so that's just where I've been getting it, and it was a plus that I was saving. I don't know where I'm going to get my hair mask besides obviously ordering it online, but I kind of need it now. I always do this. It was on my list of things to buy and I just never bought it so this is my fault. You okay baby? So yeah, we are headed to Dunkin' to get coffee. Their coffee is a lot cheaper than Starbucks and it, to me, honestly, kind of tastes better. There's only certain things that I'll get at Starbucks like the, um, like I'll get like the white mocha syrup, I'll get that in my cold brew. But other than that, I don't really think there's anything special with Starbucks, even though I was addicted to, I'm addicted to coffee in general. Like I don't have a favorite place um, but yeah, so we're going to get coffee, going to get a car wash, even though I just got one yesterday, I just, I got attacked by birds this morning, and yeah, you guys fell, I need to put my mount back up, like, that's how long it's been since we vlogged that I took my mount down when I was cleaning my car last month, but yeah, anyways, like I said, coffee, and then I'm going to try and see if the next has, um, the Navy Exchange, if they have my macadamia mask, So there must be a sale at the Navy Exchange that I don't know of because it's literally like a long line just to get on base. <sighs> the only good thing is Vivian over there <laughs> fell asleep. I'm in no rush to get out of the car. Plus I got my coffee, got my car wash. 
and there's really not much that we have to do today oh actually i lied i have to do groceries <laughs> not too many groceries because you know with alvin gone i don't really eat much i don't have to cook much so i just have like a bunch of grab and go things on my list so it's just um grab and go because <laughs> it's really hard to actually you know be in the kitchen and cook okay so we are finally home okay vivian is <sighs> sorry i always like mess up my hair whenever i'm very frustrated <clears throat> but vivian is taking a nap so i'm going to sit here and i'm going to try and edit these vlogs or um it's actually just one vlog i just haven't i literally haven't had the time to do anything my hair is so tangled i need to brush it what else do we do oh we went to tj maxx and i got two sweaters from there super super cute sweaters i didn't try them on yet so i have to do that and then but they're super cute <clears throat> the only thing is i just don't know if they're gonna fit me because i like sweaters to be a little bit longer and a little bit looser but then since i'm still breastfeeding my boobs are a little bit bigger than they normally are so a lot of my tops fit kind of funky on me so yeah was that tmi sorry um what else? I need to do my nails so badly. Okay, I am like so so distracted. <clears throat> Alvin knows my temper, and I'm not afraid to go off on anyone. But I there was this lady who she had left her car on the side, and I was like, cool, she's not blocking the entryway. But I mean, like, it's different for me because you know I'm not pushing a car, I'm pushing a stroller. I'm not gonna leave Vivian at the end of an aisle so I can go look at the clothing racks. Duh. So. <clears throat> I was like, excuse me, I just need to get through. I said it very nicely. And she just looked at me. She didn't move. She just looked at me and then started, like, you know, going through the clothing racks again. And I was like, excuse me, excuse me. Like, you know, I said it twice. And she was like, you're going to block the way. You need to leave the stroller. No, I'm not going to leave my kid unattended. Like, are you kidding me? And... I don't know, I really just, it was an older lady and I was trying to respect her because, you know, she's older. But at the same time, it's like, who, who's going to tell me to leave my kid? Like, who does that? I, I don't know. So let me give you guys an update. It is, it is 8.40. I got Vivian down to sleep at 6 o'clock. She actually had, she fell asleep with a bottle, which, I mean, she does a lot of the time. But she had a little bit more milk than she normally does. And I was trying so hard. I literally was spending like, it had probably been like 30 minutes and she was not burping. I was like, um, what am I going to do? Because whenever she falls asleep with a bottle, without burping, she wakes up and vomits everywhere. And I'm like, okay, this is, we can't do this. We cannot do this. So I had let her sleep in our bed. And, um... I went to go like do my face stuff, I was brushing my teeth, yada yada yada. And she was just like sleeping the whole time. While all this is like happening, I smelled poop. And I'm like, that's not Vivian. So I walk downstairs and there's poop in the hallway. Poop in the freaking hallway. And it reeked of dog shit. It was, mm, it was terrible. And to top it off, the cherry on top was Coco ate her shit and I could tell because there was also throw up and the only time Coco ever throws up when there's poop around is because she freaking ate it. So I gave her a bath, then Vivian woke up, she was fussing and she was crying and obviously like at, at that point I didn't know what to do because Coco was like still a bunch of shampoo, she's in the tub and I've got Vivian crying and at this point I'm like you know what? gonna let Vivian cry it out. I, I mean, I didn't have anything else. I didn't know what else to do. She's like, like listening to me then, but I didn't know what else to do. And so I made Coco. I, I clean her crate. I put her in the crate downstairs. Mind you, I was nice enough to even blow dry Coco. Normally, I don't let her blow dry because you know, like it's San Diego. It's warm enough to where she can air dry. But it's like 50 degrees outside. It is nighttime. There's no sun. There's no way she's gonna dry. So I blow dried her. I blow dried her. Cleaned her crate. You know, sanitized everything. Wiped it down. Everything was good to go. Pristine. Started mopping downstairs. Everything was good to go. Like everything was back to normal. 
45 minutes later, I'm upstairs and I smell shit again. Remember how I said Coco ate her shit? Well, now she's downstairs vomiting through her, her mouth, through her butt. Like she gave herself diarrhea because she ate her shit. And because she ate her shit, she was throwing up. And I'm like, okay, I cannot deal. So I gave her another bath. This time I didn't blow dry her. I knew deep down that it was probably gonna happen again. So I didn't blow dry her, but I towel dried her very, very well that I, it was as if I did blow dry her because she was pretty dry. Cleaned her crate, sanitized it again, and then cleaned downstairs again. So she's like downstairs, 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 like not like in the garage, but like, um, I guess like the entryway. She's not like in the, the main floor. So she's there for the night where it's warm and she just won't stop pooping because like I said, she gave herself time because she ate her shit. And then, and then, as I mentioned, since Vivian had a bottle before bed and didn't burp, she threw up all over the bed sheets. So, I am now washing my bed sheets, but you know what? I post things boba. And I was able to actually find um, a Reddit promo code where I got like free delivery, free delivery 50% off of my order. So this guy ended up only being like five bucks, which is, I mean, the amount I would have paid had I driven to the Boba place, but obviously that wasn't possible. And then now I'm doing a face mask. I gave her a bath. She's good to go. I'm having like, seriously, the suckiest Sunday. I had an overall really good weekend and then today just really, really sucked. And my mask is like drying, but you know, the, the least I could do is do a mask, drink my boba, and try and relax as I wait for my bed sheets to dry. Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, I just, I cannot, I can't, I just, I can't. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because I honestly, there's, there's only one way to go, and that's up, right, Bobby? After we have a bad day, there's a. I know, Mama. She gets so scared when I'm in a face mask. My love. She got her flu shot yesterday, so she's starting to not feel so well. I feel a temp coming. Anyways, you guys, that's gonna be the end of this vlog. I hope you found some enjoyment in my, uh, like, legit, like, mom life struggles, dog mom and human mom. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Oh,